What's up, YouTube? We're here with another retro gaming collection kind of overview of some stuff we've been picking up. So if you guys have been following along, I'm trying to rebuild my just retro, kind of not even that old, maybe last gen also, gaming collection here. So this is a nice big lot I received this week from some people trading in stuff. So uh, over here, we got a PS3 Slim. I actually had a PS3 Pro. I was kind of looking for a Pro just to have it in the collection, but I don't, I don't think I really cared um, as long as I had some kind of PS4. And yeah, the PS4 Slim was quite is quieter even than the Pro, but not as strong as it, but it's fine. If I need to play a game uh, on a stronger system, I can just pop a game in a PS5. So I just wanted a PS4 to be in the collection there. And another tr uh, local trader here, had some uh, old PlayStation games. I always wanted to play PlayStation, uh, sorry, Final Fantasy IX on PlayStation, never got around to it, and I heard it's pretty good. So I'm planning on playing that on a PS3 that I'm also picking up soon, locally, because the PS3 can play PS1 games, supposedly, we'll see. And if not, I'll just download it on my end barrack and play it on that. Um, we also have Star Ocean here, another great game. So I'm excited to play that as well. Over here, um, I did a review on this guy here. This is a PS Vita. Um, I got this off a guy on Etsy. Um, I'll leave a link in the, the description below to his store. He hooked me up with a really good deal. Also kind of local, he's in California. So um, I picked up this in a Wii U, he modded. So yeah, he modded this uh, PS Vita. Um, there are preloaded games, we'll, we'll just say. I don't wanna get video taken down for illegal activity, but we'll just say there were some preloaded games on here and we play tested some of those. And I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. So this is something just pretty cool to have. Um, over here is the Wii U I was talking about. I've actually never played a Wii U. It's, it was, this system was like in that weird phase where it was only up for a couple of years and any game that was on this system was just re-released on the Switch, just better. So um, I'm excited to play this. This is also modded with some preloaded games. So there's Zelda Wind Walker on here. I've always been wanting to try Eternal Darkness. Never got the chance to play that, which reminds me, I need to pick up a GameCube still. So if you uh, are interested in hooking me up, um, my goal is to build this whole collection without spending a single dollar. So uh, yeah, I wanna continue that trend. So yeah, hook, uh, if you guys know anyone with a PS2, GameCube, let me know. And I am very interested. And then over here, these are some, uh, this is pretty cool. So first, it seems weird saying this first before this, but I'll sh tell you why. So I'm gonna put this down here. So this is a Game Boy SP. We'll turn on the system real quick. So you can get that iconic sound. Crazy, huh? So I just wanted to have a Game Boy SP in the uh, collection. So we'll turn that off. Let that close gently. We'll put that to the side there. And then over here, we have a Game Boy Advance. And this Game Boy Advance is actually modded as well. So this has uh, new buttons put in. You could tell these buttons are just such higher quality, nice and glossy, very solid. Um, there's a new LCD screen put in as well, and um, on the back here, you can see there is no bat in the battery compartment. There is a built-in USB-C charger, so pretty cool. Super Mario Bros. Three, Super Mario Three. All right, so let's turn this on. I just wanna, I don't wanna take too much time on this video uh, doing playthroughs, but yeah, sorry. This uh, power button's really hard to flip. So you just see, look how clear that screen is. Insane. Also, I forgot to, to mention, the volume is also uh, upgraded as well. So it's actually really loud right now. It doesn't sound like it, but it is. So, so I just want to show off how, uh, how good the screen looks.
Oh, I guess you can't replay levels? Hmm. Man, I'm bad. <laughs> These guys just keep coming. Oh, you can't go that way. <gasps> no. No. Okay. I'm going to leave that in. I'm not even going to cut that out. I'm just that bad. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Well, uh, with that, um, yeah. So... That is the system <laughs> for Game Boy Advance. Pretty cool pickup, love this thing actually. I'll never get rid of that. And then here's something crazy cool too. So last week we picked up a Nintendo Switch. This week we were able to pick up with another trade-in, a Nintendo Switch OLED. Um, the bad thing about this is that the Nintendo Switch uh, did not come with a dock. So there's no dock, but I have the dock from the Switch Animal Crossing system. Don't look at my face. Um, another thing is it's kind of dead. You can see it on the screen here. It's kind of has some blemishing here, some scratches here and here. But when the system's turned on, you can't really tell. So I thought it was not a bad deal for trade-in. Um, yeah, so it was pretty good. And also it came with a, a SD card, a micro SD card already installed. Oh, that's loud too. So. Yeah, we're just let's just update this because I didn't know it needed one. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We also had Super Smash Bros. Uh, mailed in, so I'm excited to play that on this bad boy here. So yeah, um, keep uh, watching the channel. We're gonna play test this Wii U and see the sweet games that were preloaded on that. And if you wanted to see a video of this PS Vita, I have a link in the description below of me going through that. And I think I'll do a little mini video on this later. I'm going to get some more games for this guy. And yeah, check it out. All right, hopefully you guys liked this video if you're following along with my collection. And uh, let me know if you have those systems because I'm always interested in trades. See you guys in the next video. Peace.